My oh my. There's some cool stuff for us to talk to you about this week, that's for sure, including gondola access riding down on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. That's sensational. It's also that time of the year when everybody is chucking all kinds of new products out there. All the 2019 product is rolling into Flowland at the moment and it's really exciting to see. But before we launch into all of that, a quick plug for one of our supporters and we're talking about Surf Ash Lights. Obviously it's winter, you're freezing your butt off, it's dark all the time. The only way you can get out of the trails a lot of the time is like some kind of goddamn trail shredding vampire. It's all nocturnal, so if you're going to head out there at night, you want to have a good set of lights. So we really encourage you to check out the Surface Eloom series. They've got the new Eloom 900 and the Eloom 1600, both of which we've been running. What we like about these lights is that they are all in one unit. So you don't have any stupid cords everywhere snagging on trees and making you crash like some kind of chump in the night. They're lightweight too, it's 160 odd grams uh, for the Eloom 900 and 240 grams for the 1600. Bung the Eloom 900 on your head, bung the 1600 on your bars and suddenly you've got 2500 lumens of light. That is heaps many lights to turn the trails into something you can shred at night time. We highly encourage you to check them out. It's about 190 bucks for the Eloom 1600 and less than 100 bucks for the Eloom 900. So for under 300 bucks, suddenly the night time is your playground to go shred and we think that is fantastic. If you like what we do here at Flow, please make sure you get behind some of the people who get behind us, like Surface. As we said before, some very exciting trail news coming out of Victoria. Some of you may well be familiar with the amazing riding uh, down on the Mornington Peninsula. Uh, the Red Hill Riders, a local club down there, have done an incredible job transforming that area, uh, that Arthur's Seat, Red Hill, Mornington area into a really, really cool trail network. And what is super exciting is that the Eagle Gondola, uh, which is located down at Arthur's Seat, is just embarking on a three month trial period for mountain bikers, meaning that you don't have to pedal up that bloody hill anymore, you can jump on the gondola. They're running it as a trial period at the moment, and so fingers crossed, it all works out for mountain bikers. It is so exciting to have a year round gondola access trail network right on the doorstep of Melbourne. At the moment you can buy half day tickets, um, they've got two sessions from 10 to 1 in the morning or from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. If you want to learn more, uh, head to the link below um, or of course uh, check out the Red Hill Riders Facebook page. Okay, so up there in the Northern Hemisphere they're parting into the long endless days by the lakeside or whatever they do over there. And of course they're also releasing all kinds of new bikes. The Santa Cruz 2019 Ranger was just released yesterday. Are highlighted in our mind by the new Bronson 3.0. Now this thing looks fantastic. It clearly draws inspiration um, from the Nomad with the same kind of uh, suspension layout and frame architecture. It's 150 mils at the rear, 160 up front, rolling on 275 wheels. It's also plus compatible if you are plus inclined. It is of course longer and slacker, 15 mils longer in fact for every single size, which is a big jump. Uh, and it's steeper in the seat tube. We're starting to see a lot of brands doing this, really steepening up the seat angles because uh, if you're gonna slacken the head angle, you need to make it steeper where you sit, otherwise it feels like you're pedaling a goddamn recumbent up the hill. We're gonna to endeavor to get one of these things on test very soon because they look ball tearingly hot. Also new from Santa Cruz, the Blur Trail. They're doing a trail version um, of this bike now with 110 mils up front rather than 100 mils and with a dropper seat post. Cool, another brand that is doing a more aggressive version of their cross country race bike. We are all for this. If you like to race but you want something that's a little bit more versatile, these are the style of bikes that you should be looking towards for sure. Speaking of cross country race bikes, something rolled through our inbox this morning that really grabbed our attention. The new Canyon Lux range was released uh, at the end of June. This is their out and out cross country racing machine. Two niner, 100 mil travel rear. It's got space for two water bottles in the frame with a sub two kilogram frame weight. So we're talking about a serious uh, XC race bike here. What really grabbed us about these bikes uh, was the SL version, which come with 110 mil forks, as we were talking about before with the Blur Trail, uh, to give them a little bit slacker head angle and make them a little bit more suitable for all round shredding. They also come with dropper posts across the entire range as well. And the pricing on them is ridiculous. That is what really stopped us in our tracks this morning. When we clicked through from the email, we were like, this is uh, pretty incredible. Canyon are really aggressively pricing these bikes. So expect to see quite a lot of them out there on the trails in the coming months. Another new bike, talking of 29ers, is the Commonsal Meta Trail 29. Commonsal rolled out a 29er version of the uh, Meta AM, their big hitting enduro bike, uh, not long ago, just a couple of weeks back. And they've now got the trail version of it coming out and it looks hot. We love what Commonsale do with their bikes. They are built for fun. They are really aggressive handling bikes. We spent quite a lot of time on the uh, Meta AM last year, the 160-170mm uh, travel 
enduro machine, uh, the Silver Beast. It was a long-term test bike of ours, and we really got along with it very well. So we are excited to see how the Meta Trail 2.9er rides. Uh, we're sure it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun because big wheels are lots of fun. If you like your bikes with a little bit of battery power, that'll do it for this week. Oh, yeah, and of course, Sam Hill won the EWS last weekend as well, uh, making it three from four rounds for Sam Hill. If he doesn't wrap this series up, uh, we will eat our hat. Uh, so exciting to see Sam Hill just continuing his dominance as well uh, on that front. Thank you very much. That's Flow Lounge again for another week. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram TV if you are an IGTV kind of person because that is what all the kids are doing now. Make sure you have a look. All of our stuff is going to be going up on Instagram TV uh, from now on as well as YouTube, as well as Facebook, as well as the website. So you can get it everywhere. Thanks very much. See you next time.